Okay, what I'm showing you is the last drawer I'm doing. This was a quote, barn fresh Chester drawer. Now keep in mind, I have taken this Chester drawer outside and sprayed it down with the hose and let it dry for about a week. Didn't need to be drying for a week, I just got busy. Then disinfected, so this roach poop is disinfected, but obviously no one's gonna want this. So take your hydrogen peroxide, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to let it drip. I'm gonna apply it in all these places. I'm going to let it kind of just soak. Now this probably had some form of clear coat or something on it over the years because it is beating up a little bit. Just apply it everywhere. Again, this is for when you've already disinfected and washed down. This is not the first step. Now, let that do some bubbling. Again, it's just your basic hydrogen peroxide. You want a sanding sponge or, or pad. You want an old throwaway piece of t-shirt. This happens to be an old piece of sweatshirt. Let that sit. Let that start to bubble. See it? It's not gonna bubble in every spot, but that is a reaction. See how some places not, some places yes. Again, let it bubble, see it? It's really hard to film because I am facing the sun. There we go. Hydrogen, hydrogen, say that a couple times, peroxide. Again, some spots yes, some spots not. And yes, I did miss a couple spots, so when you go back, I'm gonna hit those, just add a little bit more. Less is more in the beginning. Preferably do this outside, but I am in a well-ventilated area. Let me emphasize that I washed this down with water and scrubbed it and disinfected it like a week ago and let it dry completely. You do not wanna mix chemicals. You do not want to mix your hydrogen peroxide with bleach or any household disinfectant that you may have used to originally clean this off. Do not mix chemicals. It does cause a vapor or a, a reaction, a chemical reaction that becomes a dangerous gas. Do not mix chemicals. It's really activating there. Yes, some of it's going to drip down into this door in between the seams. That's okay, I'm gonna clean that out on the inside. See it really starting to bubble. Give this a good two to three minutes. Stay with it, don't leave it. Don't let your animals or your children near it while you're doing this. And because I'm so impatient, I'm gonna take that gross, remember you're gonna throw this away, old t-shirt or uh, I have a sweatshirt that I'm using. And you're going to, I wish I didn't have to film and do this at the same time. Now I'm wiping. I'm just going to wipe all the way across. I know this is hard to tell. See how it's cleaning that up and it's lightening it up? Again, I've already disinfected this a while ago, about a week ago, and let it dry. This is just to get the ickies. So I'm going to do that, it's scrubbing off pretty good. And I'm going to do this probably another two times and then the side of the drawer will be rid of these marks and just be the wood. Just try it two more three times. See how it's definitely clearing up here and you've got some hard spots here. You just want to go over those spots again. You can also, I said sanding pad, go over and sand that off very lightly. This is probably around 180 to 220 grit pad. This is a rad pad, grab what you can. Do this not around kids, just self wear mask. And then, you see what I'm talking about? Okay, so because there's still some, now that's just the wood, that's the old wood. I'm talking about these spots here. See how it's not coming off? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't have my tripod right now. You want to see how I'm lightly, I'm talking lightly sand it. 
Go with the grain. Go with the grain. And then I'm gonna use that. So much better already the first time. Again, this is the real wood. This like tiger wood. So see these couple spots left? I'm gonna do the same thing again. It's gonna take about three times doing this and then it's ready to dry out and then either put wax on it, seal it with clear coat or paint it or leave it as it is. 